What's up, guys? It's Craig in here. Back with another video. Um, Rush Clan ended. If you got, if you guys don't know, I was in Rush Clan. That's all I want to say. Uh, the team ended, so um, I'm chilling. I need another clan, team to grind for. Uh, Rush Clan ended for personal reasons. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, I, that's why I've been posting. I've been to um, you know, doing some stuff. But I decided to grind for Era Eternity again. I used to grind for them. I used to grind for them, but then I stopped. But I'm gonna keep on the grind and. If I make it as a content creator, uh, you know, peace. Y'all yeah, know we back. We gonna be analyzing people and, and see how they do in matches in a solo match. I can't do arena because you know you can only spectate for a long time. So we just gonna be spectating some people in one full match to see how how good they are. We gonna probably land here and this last solo kill us. Cause you know we gonna be analyzing people and then we're gonna see <coughs> what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong in their matches. That are either get them the win or get them killed. Let's get into it. Let's get the last song killed. Protection. Alright. <coughs> no. Annoyance killer 14. Kill me, alright. I don't know how he placed those brick. I was just a waste of maths. He should have just um not wasted. Seems to, he seems not to be the um a good player. He might be good though. Okay, he's trying to get chip damage off, <coughs> off the this wall. Okay, nice good break. Uh, I guess he doesn't have um good headphones. Should have been able to hear that. He needs to keep high. Don't jump down. Yup. That was a bad mistake he made. He should have kept tight and tried to do chip damage or at least get that nice peak shots off of him. Another guy's pushing up. See how this dude does. <coughs> Losing his shots. He needs to. He needs to break the wall. All right. Bob. <coughs> okay, he dies. He sh if he would have had better aim and shot sh and aim for the head, he probably would have killed that dude. <coughs> Seems that he's still in right now. All right, I guess he guess he went AFK. He's not camping no more. So he's doing. He seems to wait after the battles have gone over. Oh, okay. <clears throat> See what he's doing now. He, <clears throat> he needs to farm some mats. Got guys, in uh, Fortnite you need to farm up mats, like. If you have no match you, you, and you're all, all, all out in the open, you can just die easily. <clears throat> yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. Guys, always make sure to have good headphones so you can hear people who are behind you. You see, I do hear he probably doesn't have good headphones because he didn't even hear them. Make sure to always have your volume turned up or that volume that's good for you. Okay, he seems to rush the battle. Okay, he, got, he has a kill. Alright, nice. He's building. Yep. Not having them headphones. Might have just killed him. <clears throat> yep, guys, always. Should have <clears throat> okay, he's trying to get some chip damage with the SMG. Bob. Okay, nice, nice. He seemed to use his tactical to the, the full advantage. He's alive. He probably he's, he seems like a decent player. He's he's just tactical. Guys, don't don't be afraid to get up and close with um fights. Like you know, <clears throat> like I said, if you're low. And they and your opponent has more health than you. Stick to high ground. But if your opponent has more um less health than you, you know, go <clears throat> like don't be afraid to um get close close up to your opponent and shoot. Especially if you have a shotgun like a tactical, cause you know you can just shoot tap him. <clears throat> he seems to know what he's doing. Like I said, guys, you should always farm mats. And Fortnite, because like you never know when you're gonna need mats. Like you might have to 1v1. A typical 1v1 might waste like 200 mats for a de for uh, two decent players 1v1, and that's a lot of mats. 200 mats. So you guys are gonna need to farm up to at least 500 for every mat, or at least 99 have at least 99 wood and <clears throat> a decent amount of brick and metal. This dude seems to know how, seems to know what he's doing, so yeah. I'm gonna go and spectate, so it's better for you guys. My bad. <coughs> he seems to be pretty um decent, you know. 
like I said, guys, warm up mats. Whenever you're um <clears throat> running around, cause season 11 um there's basically no mobility now. The only <coughs> the only mobility that you're gonna have is swimming and um, the boats. Yeah, so whenever you're running around, make sure to jump. I know this is a base. This is basic. Uh, this is really basic. Um, season two play. You know, season two stats. But if you just got bought the game, you know, or I mean, not bought the game, but you know, it's free. But if you just got the game, you're gonna need a. <coughs> make sure you're strafing and jumping, whenever you're um walking around because this is very easy to get lazy. I don't know why he hasn't drank his minis. Yes, he needs to drink his minis. Make sure to always drink shields first, especially with his minis. Cause you never know we're gonna need that shield. He should have been and drunk that many. <clears throat> and also the the one mistake that he messed up, he should have picked up the um. He should have picked up the green tactical instead of keeping the gray tactical. That was a waste. Always pick up high rarity items. Always. If you have a gray tack and you see a golden tack, pick up the golden tack. Remember, simple strats of season two, but some people have just got the game, so they don't know this. This dude needs to farm up some more mats, so he'll be set for the entire game. But you don't always need to find, um, farm up mats, but it's still good to you. You have to have at least a decent amount of mats. He's trying to strafe, you know, look people. That's a nice pointer. If um, if you see builds, make sure there might be a person there or a person. That was there before. So if you see some builds, y'all, you, you should always check it out. Salty Springs, he's rotating early. Make sure to rotate early because, like I said, there's little to no mobility. The only mobility that you can actually say is mobility, kind of, is the boat and swimming. That's the only thing. If the, and if there's no swimming streams near you or rivers near you, then you're basically gonna die to storm. It's not like season um 10 and 9 or other seasons after chapter 2. Under chapter 2 where there was so much mobility like grapplers, zip lines, and other things like that. To help you get around the island. But there are still zip lines in, in the island, but a lot of the mobility has been taken out. He needs to rotate early so he won't die to storm. He seems to have a decent amount of mats because he's been farming for a while. Everyone, if you find a stream, they're very useful. I don't know why he's swimming like that, but if you ever find a stream and circle's not close to you, make sure you use it because this a stream is way faster than walking depending on which way the stream's going. Now he's in circle, guys. Like I said, rotate early. It's not like the other seasons before see chapter two where you can rotate really late and still do good or outrun the storm. You have to rotate early no matter what. Even if you're playing arena. Arena, you have to rotate early. Guys, one major mistake that he needs to have his shields guys he has little to no healing items all he has is two med kits and no shields this is bad you should at least have two slots depending on your playstyle of healing items like shield slurps you know well slurps aren't in slurp fish are really good so and you can find them by using fishing rods and ponds and stuff like that but minis, you should at least have minis in your inventory. Like him, he seems to be a passive player, not really rushing, but he's going up for the kill right now. He seems to like waiting it out the fight and then shooting. If you're more of a passive player, this can be good. You should always try to third party a fight to so get some extra shields, depending on where the circle is. It could be a good like. This dude is choosing to not um, push, 
because of the circle. The circle is really important because if you're outside a circle and you're trying to battle, you're going to die to storm. Depending on how long a fight lasts, a fight can last from one minute all the way to five minutes, and that can even go longer too. Like it can last to ten minutes if the fight is is prolonged. Never mind, he seems to be rushing, which is not a smart idea. He has the he has the advantage. He has two. 12 people left. There's 12 people left, guys. He only has 50 shields. He's going. He's camping. Someone just saw him. He needs to get out and try, try to push him. He just, That dude just got sniped. Must have been a bot. His playstyle must be camping. Guys, I'm going to tell you something right, right now. If you want wins, you can camp, but it's not needed to camp. If you camp, it's not going to get you better at the game. He just missed that snipe. Camping would not get you better at the game. It's just gonna pull on you. See this dude's camping? He, he doesn't really have good builds, you can tell. But, even when camping, I'll probably get you the win. It's not gonna get you better in the long run. It's gonna make you worse. So guys, even, even if you're not getting wins, I, oh, see how I just got sniped there? He shouldn't have been peeking that hard. Now he has to run. Like I said, if he would have had minis or any type of Shields, then he could have did something. He he can't use his mech it. I don't know why he's camping. He sees him. He needs to run out. Hurry up and run. Nope. I don't think this dude is smart. I thought he was a decent amount of player, but he's not. He seems he's about, he's about to die. He's camping. He he should heal, but it's too late. He's not gonna be able to pop off a ten check a ten second mech it. And he dies. Like I said, guys, do not camp it. Do not camp. Even if it might get you a win, like um, camping, do not camp, guys. It's bad for. It's bad. All right, guys. You can camp. It may get you to win, but it's not gonna get you better in the long run. So don't camp. Even if you're losing games, always try to rush people if you're a beginner. But you, you just to get experience with um one v one fights or box fights and games. We should always rush for new. Um, but you don't have to. Um, different playstyles, you know, can help you out. He just missed his snipe. He should have took his time. He needs to build. <coughs> Good thing he has a heal for cover. Guys, if if you're ever in a situation where you're low on mats, always use, always use cover, like anything that's covered. Like you don't need to build for cover. You can build. It's always good to build, but if, if there's cover around you, like trees or other stuff like that, like a house or like a door that's around you, you should always use the cover, like a or like a hill. Hills cannot be broken, so that that's a good that's some good cover without having to waste mass. He seems to go for the high ground. Guys, ramp rushing like that with a floor. With a floor ramp wall is a good rushing technique. It's hard to break, but it's not. It's one of the simplest ones. This he's trying to get this wall. Can he get it? it? Also, getting people's walls like this is a really good idea. If you have good ping, then it's gonna be easier to get someone's wall like that. But he seems to get the kill. He needs to switch out for that blue. For that blue tack. Nice. Like the other guy who just died. Switch other rarity items that are better. Always do that, guys. There's no such thing as a gray tag being better than a golden tag. It's not happening. Always switch. He seems to be making a one by one. That's, he's wasting a lot of match too, and it's not even in the circle. If you're gonna make a one by one, guys, I don't suggest making a one by one or camping. But, but if you're gonna make a one by one, always make sure it's inside the circle. Don't be making a one by one outside the circle. He's wasting so many maps right here. He's probably gonna need them in the future. There's still six pair, six players left. He should go for that supply drop. He has time. He has around 35 seconds. He should go for that supply drop, but he's not. 
There's no structures then build zone, but he shouldn't but he just wasted a mech and even though he has three he, um he wasted a But he needs to play better or more aggressive in a 1v1 situation you should always play aggressive but sometimes if you're low don't play aggressive right guys do not play aggressive always stick to high ground but it remember what i say guys if you have more shields than them you, should, you, you can play you can play more aggressive <laughs> he thought to do had a sky base <clears throat> oh if he okay nice that's how the opponent seems to be jumped down he needs to keep his high ground don't lose it He's building too high. That can easily be broken down. He's breaking it down right there. Let's see. He needs to keep height and not jump down. That would be a stupid move of him. Both of them seem to be not good. <clears throat> He's burning too high again. He's overbuilding. Got Shouldn't jump down. Oh, he just sold. <clears throat> like I told you guys, if you jump down even for a second, you can lose sight. This is his fault. He should at least have shields. If that one dude jumps down and bops him, then it's game over. He has no shields, guys. That's why I said keep high ground. <clears throat> Even though it might be tempting to just jump down and shoot. Keep high These builds are not really that good either. But he has all the edits, so this might be a good factor in the playing guy who wins this match. The Sunshiner seems to be keeping high. He does not want to lose it. The red line, on the other hand, he has to play low ground. Let's see. The storm is getting closer. <clears throat> the Rella has no choice but to push up. The Rella is in a bad position. He must go for high ground. He seems to build and recover, okay? He's trying to go for height. He did not take it, guys. <clears throat> if you cannot get high, guys, <clears throat> he just get got height. But if you cannot get height, just go, just jump down and break them down. It's coming close, guys. Who will win? The Rella or the Sun Strider? Seems to have slow edits, so I don't think he has to double edit binds. Guys, if you have double edit binds, go for them. Even if you don't, use confirm edit on release if you don't have double edit binds. Make sure. He seems to be playing more passive. The red line is passive. He really wants this win. And he might die. <clears throat> He's dead. He needs to use the mech kit. It's too late. It's too late. It's a wrap, guys. Nice, you can pull it off. Can he? Nope. And that's game. The Sun Shatter wins, guys. He should have used the mech earlier. <clears throat> that would have been the deciding factor. Look at the Sun Shatter's HP. I hope this analysis helps you do right or wrong. Um, I I'm going to be posting more videos like this and more helpful videos because I'm trying to get into era as a content creator. Era Eternity as a content creator. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.